A learning goal for today is to be able to write words as inequalities. Use a number line to graph solution sets of inequalities, as well as use inequalities to represent real life situations. Our essential question is, how can you use a number line to represent solutions of an inequality? An inequality is a mathematical sentence that uses an inequality symbol to compare the values of two expressions. The following are inequality symbols. A solution of an inequality is any value that makes the inequality true. The set of all solutions of an inequality is its solution set. The graph of an inequality shows all the solutions of the inequality on a number line. A closed circle includes the number in the solution set. An open circle does not include the number in the solution set. When we see a less than or greater than symbol, we're going to have open circles because we are not including the number in the solution set. We don't have an equal to sign. But when we see a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, we will have closed circles because we're including that number in the solution set. Is the blue symbol less than or greater than, or is the red one less than or greater than? What makes me remember that I can write the word less than with the less than symbol. It kind of looks like a L. The greater than symbol, you could kind of make a G out of it for greater than. Using your left hand, you could make a less than symbol. Left means less. The other thing we have to worry about is less than. Earlier, we learned that less than and more than, when we're using the word then, those are turnaround words. And we would write six less than a number as n minus six, turn it around. But now, since we have the is, is less than and is more than, it's not the same. When we see the word is or its substitutes, we're going to use an inequality symbol. And this is going to be six is less than n. Let's translate this word problem into an inequality. 15 is less than twice a number. I'll define the variable saying let n equal the number. A lot of people might still think of this as a turnaround word and write it like so, 2n minus 15. If you see the word is or its substitutes, you're going to have to use an inequality symbol. This would be incorrect because we have it is, is less than. You're going to have to use the less than symbol, which would look like this. Let's go over a few words that represents inequality. Greater than, less than, is less than or equal to, is greater than or equal to. Graphing inequalities. When we want to graph all real numbers less than 7, this would be x is less than 7. Notice that our inequality symbol is facing in the left direction. Our arrow is also facing in that same direction. Since we don't have an equal to sign, this would be an open circle. In this case, our inequality symbol is facing to the right. Our arrow is facing to the right. And since we don't have an equal sign, we'll have an open circle. In these two cases, our inequality symbol and our arrows are still facing the same direction. This is going to the left, and this one's going to the right. What's different is we have an equal to sign in each of these. This equal to sign is what causes this circle to be closed and this circle to also be closed. Let's write the inequality shown by each graph. First thing, let's take a look at the direction of the bold arrow. And we can see it's facing the right direction. Therefore, an inequality will look like greater than or greater than or equal to. When we take a look at our circle, it's an open circle. So open circles are either greater than or less than without the equal sign. Therefore, our inequality symbol is going to be greater than. We can use any letter we want. I'm going to use X. And the open circle is located at 12. Let's take a look at the next one. Again, the arrow is facing in the right direction, so we know it's going to either be greater than or greater than or equal to. Our circle now is a closed circle. Therefore, it's going to be either greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Our inequality symbol is going to be greater than or equal to. To complete the inequality, you can use any letter you want. I'm using x, and the closed circle is located at negative 21. Let's take a look at these next two examples. Now our bold arrow is facing in the left direction, going to the left. So we're going to be using less than or less than or equal to. Our circle is a closed dot, so that's going to be either greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And we see it's going to be the less than or equal to. Our closed dot is located at 9. 
In the next one, our bold arrow is facing in the left direction. We're going to either use less than or less than or equal to. Since it's an open circle, it's going to be either greater than or less than. In this particular case, we can see that it's going to be less than. And our open circle is located at negative 2. Remember, left means less and less means left. Let's write that inequality to describe this situation. The weight limit is 10 tons. Words that would represent this would be the most that a truck could weigh, the maximum amount, its top amount, the weight cannot be more than, we're going to be using the less than or equal to symbol. So it's going to look like this. X is less than or equal to 10. Welcome to the Safari Big Adventure. Jeep tours are starting at $50. Horseback tours are starting at $75. When you see these advertisements, that's like the beginning. You might have to walk behind the Jeep for $50. Usually it's going to be more than the $50. They're just trying to say, oh, it's only going to be $50 to get you in. And then when you get there, you'll be like, oh, yeah, you have taxes, registration, insurance, this, this, and the other. And next thing you know, that $50 tour is more like $100 and something dollars. So when we take a look at this one, it's going to be greater than or equal to the minimum amount you're going to pay is 50, but you're probably paying more than that. Same thing goes for the horseback riding tours. That's going to be greater than or equal to $75. Some of these, even when you're not sure which inequality to use, think about it a little bit and you might be able to figure it out. The following film has been approved for all audiences. You guys probably seen this already. This is an inequality, especially when it's rated PG-13. We could actually write the inequality in two ways. We could write it for who can actually watch the movie. And this means the minimum age would be 13. X is greater than or equal to 13. So you could be equal to 13 or greater than 13. The other way we can write it is for a person who cannot watch the movie. And this is when someone's under this age, below this age, lower than beneath this age. And this would be X is less than 13. Let's write the word sentences as an inequality. A number C is less than 4. Is less than is this inequality symbol. The inequality is C is less than 4. Twice the number W is higher than 7. Higher than would be this inequality symbol. The inequality is 2W is greater than 7. A number n plus 4 is a less than or equal to 10. The inequality symbol is the less than or equal to sign. The inequality is n plus 4 is less than or equal to 10. A ratio of x and 2 is at least negative 5. Is at least represents the inequality symbol greater than or equal to. The inequality is x over 2 is greater than or equal to negative 5. A cruise ship can carry at most 2,500 passengers. The inequality symbol is less than or equal to. The inequality is P is less than or equal to 2,500. There are actually some places that have a minimum speed limit along with a maximum speed limit. In this case, you have to drive 40 miles or over. The inequality is X is greater than or equal to 40. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.